Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 13th, okay? So keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. This reading is not sign specific. It's for whoever it's meant to resonate with. Okay, so let's just cut this deck and see what we got. Page of Cups, Ace of Wands, Reverse. So Page of Cups is a message. Typically, it's good news. But the Ace of Wands is no spark, no desire, something going out, something going south. Uh, dashed expectations. Um, no attraction, no desire. Um, expression of feelings. Something is going on here. A message is coming. Uh... There's a lack of growth somewhere. Page of Cups is a message. Typically, it's a it's a welcome message of love. Typically, something may have went downhill fast. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is communication. It's a wake-up call. It's the truth. Taking control. Taking the power. There could be some communication. Communicating. Waking up. Waking up to the truth. Maybe an epiphany. Five of Swords reversed. No, it's actually the Seven of Swords. I'm just playing with you. <laughs> Sorry. Seven of Swords reversed. Seven of Swords reversed. Doesn't matter. I don't care what, what the number is. On the, honestly, I'm meant to see what I'm meant to see. Seven of Swords reversed. I wonder if somebody is coming clean. They're owning up to the truth. Taking a new approach. Finding a new approach. Seeing something clearly, there's been some lies, there's been some deception, deceit. This is clarity. It is seeing the truth, speaking the truth, knowing the truth, coming clean, owning up. I'm not sure if somebody is. Uh, somebody could also be getting caught. Mm, nine of Pentacles reverse. Now the Nine of Pentacles reverse is not happy, not enjoying life must take action. This is insecurities. There's a need for discipline. Listen, listen, listen. Pay attention. Pay attention to your needs. Somebody may not know their value. They may not know their worth. A nine of pentacles reversed. That's un ungrateful or a lack of abundance or not having enough. There's insecurity here. Insecure. We have somebody here that I don't know. There's, there could be some theft. I think that you do need to be careful. We have the Seven of Swords reversed next to the Nine of Pentacles reversed. There's some sort of insecurities here. Somebody may be getting out of a situation. They wake up, they decide that, you know, there's some sort of lies here. Realizing the truth about a situation. Nine of Pentacles reversed is unstable. It's I must take action. There's, there's some sort of financial instability here. There's a lot of lies. Could even be self-deception because the Nine of Pentacles is very self-independent and the One is independent and the Seven of Swords is deception. So we may have some self-deception here. Somebody's been deceiving themselves. But the truth is the Ace of Swords upright. Maybe waking up and just realizing the truth about something. Six of Wands reversed. Now, the Six of Wands reversed is no victory. It's a loss. It is. This is losing. It's losing a battle. Losing to the competition. Somebody is losing to the competition. We have somebody that has no staying power, that doesn't follow through, that isn't really a leader. This person should have never been in the leadership position. Or they don't, or they're not taking a real leadership position. This is losing a battle. It is a loss. It's a fail, a fail. 
Six of Wands reverse. There's been some sort of competition. Games. Games. Player. Player. We may have a player here. Losing. Losing to the competition. Not really qualified because they don't follow through. This person has a lot of admirers. I'm not sure if we have somebody here that just loves all the admiration they get. No, no success. Lack of confidence, lack of victory. I feel like we have a setback here. Somebody is being, I don't know, taken out taken out of their position. Mm, nine of Swords. Now the Nine of Swords is regrets. We have somebody here that is having a lot of regrets. Maybe they, they wake up at, or they have a dream or something that makes them realize some sort of truth. They've lost. That Six of Wands reversed is lost. And next to it is the Nine of Pentacles, something abundant. They've lost something abundant because of their ways. You know, the Seven of Swords is like a cheater, a liar, a thief. It's reversed, though. And this could be extremes. This is somebody who doesn't want to be held accountable. Maybe we have a player here that is losing. They're losing the game. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Must take action. Must find the self-discipline. Somebody needs to find the self-discipline to stop playing games or to own up to the truth. This is regrets. It is. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's what that is. So this is like, wow. There is a loss here. There is definitely a loss here. There's no victory, there's no success, there's no abundance. We have a very unstable individual. I'm not sure if somebody's making some sort of escape. A message is coming, definitely is gonna be news. May not be good news because the six of wands reverse may be bad news. There's some sort of seven of swords reverse. Somebody could be slipping away. They could be making a getaway. They may be stealing. It could be so many things. Oh my God, I can't believe this has happened with that nine of swords. What is this seven of swords reversed? I'm not sure if somebody, we have somebody here that is acting without conscience. Seven of swords reversed right next to the six of wands reverse. This is somebody that is a loser doing something shady, doing something sneaky. But it could also be somebody that is giving up. Oh, what the hell is this Seven of Swords reversed? Two of Wands. Now this may be a spur of the moment decision to do something. Maybe taking a new approach. I think we have somebody here that has been dishonest with themselves. That's what I think this is. I think we have somebody here that has been dishonest with themselves. They're realizing something. This is an epiphany. Oh my God, oh my God. I've lost, somebody has lost. They've lost something abundant. That Nine of Pentacles is, is like the Empress and the Minor Arcana. It is, this is somebody that is very abundant that has worked hard. This is realizing. There's some sort of disgrace here. There's lies, there's cheating, but coming clean, coming clean, owning up. Two of Wands, I was clarifying the Seven of Swords, and that is a spur of the moment decision. There's two paths, okay? There's two options. This is deciding to stay or deciding to go. There's been some sort of restlessness that's very, very clear. This has to do with a partnership, may even have to do with a business partnership. This is making a choice. I think it's a sudden because of that Ace of Wands, even though it was reversed. Seven of Swords reverse. It's like owning up. There's been some dishonesty. No victory, no success, no abundance. Must take action. Must find the self-discipline to take action. 
must own up to the truth, must be honest with yourself. There's no victory here. There's no success here. This is like waking up and seeing it. There's nothing happening. There's no success here. It's time to step forward. You know, that's what the two of, two of wands is. It's time to. I think that's what's going to happen. Expanding. that Somebody's going to be expanding themselves. Because there's no victory. Behind that two of wands is a six of wands reversed. There's no success. This is a loss. Somebody is losing something. Knight of Wands reverse. This is somebody who has definitely has no staying power. Six of Wands reversed. Knight of Wands reper reversed. There could be a sudden departure here. Extremely sudden. Doing something impulsive. You know, somebody has lost. They've lost. Maybe they've lost their power or they've lost a battle. They're very, uh, they're not do living the good life, definitely, with the Nine of Pentacles reversed, because they've been lying to themselves. If you can't own up to the truth, do not expect to live a good life. Okay, it doesn't work like that. Nine, Knight of Wands reversed is reckless behavior. Moving very fast, extremely fast. Somebody may be moving very, very fast. They're upset. Somebody may be upset. Very unstable. We may even have somebody here that is mentally unstable. Seven of Swords reversed next to the Nine of Pentacles reversed. There's definitely some sort of instability here. No doubt about it. We have somebody here that is in anguish with that Nine of Swords. I feel like they're angry. With the Knight of Wands reversed, they're, ang they're angry, they're upset, they're, they're going someplace in a hurry, extremely fast. Three of Swords reversed, now the Three of Swords reversed is leaving the past behind. Focusing on the future now. We may have somebody here that has been grieving. This is releasing the pain. There's been some sort of grief here. It's right next to the Nine of Swords. Suffering, a lot of suffering, a lot of pain. But moving very, very, very fast. So something is happening very fast. This, there's been a lot of pain and suffering. But this is leaving the past behind, again, with the Two of Wands. Somebody is leaving something behind that caused them a lot of suffering, that caused them a lot of pain. It's a very impulsive decision to do so. You know, they're doing it quick. And I think, I think they're doing it because they realize, they realize the truth about their insecurities or their fears or something like that. Or their situation is very unstable. It's like, you don't complete me, you know? You don't complete me. It's all a lie. Something like that. Two of Wands is stepping forward. It's taking that next step. Making that choice to focus on the future. And I see focusing on the future here. Having a lot of reg regret. Somebody does have a lot of regrets. It's like... Oh my God, oh my God, there's no victory here. There's, there's, nothing, there's nothing for me here. There's nothing for me here. There's no success. There's lies, there's deception. Coming clean, making a decision, making a choice. Somebody's making it, they're owning up to the truth. It's like, oh my God, I want to keep saying, oh my God, I have to leave this behind. I got to go, I got to go. That Knight of Swords or Knight of Wands reverse is like fast, very extremely fast. Oh, we got two. Mm. Judgment in the Four of Wands. So somebody may be in a foundation or a commitment that, you know, there's... They're not comfortable and they wish they weren't there. They're in a temporary living situation. There's no support. There's instability. There's insecurity. There's a lack of success. 
They failed to achieve. It's not as good as it expected. They expected. There's, there's. This is leaving home, uprooting with the Four of Wands reversed. The party is over. The honeymoon is over. This is a messy situation. This could be a change in living situation. You know. Um, don't fit in here. This is not where I want to be. I wish I wasn't ever here. I wish I could go back. I wish that I never came here. That kind of thing. Um, there's a lack of teamwork. Lack of commitment. Somebody may be making a decision or a judgment call to get out of something that where there's no happiness. There's no real commitment. There's no unity. There's no partnership. Judgment is a life-changing decision. It is the end of a commitment. The end of a foundation. The end of something. Okay? That is the end. It's a life-changing decision. Making a judgment call. So there is somebody here that is making a judgment call. There's This is like... I, the Four of Wands reverse is no happiness, trouble in paradise, uh, trouble on the home front, commitment issues, making a judgment call, seeing the truth. It's interesting because the Ace of, Ace of Swords is an awakening and judgment is awakening. So this is a wake-up call, an epiphany. Somebody's getting an epiphany about some, something that they have been committed to. This isn't happiness. This isn't happiness. This isn't this is just heartache. This is suffering. This is grieving. This is this is causing me a lot of anguish. Making a sudden departure. This is the end of a trial. It's the end of something. It is. This is a major awakening, seeing the truth. This is definitely the truth coming out. The truth, there's some sort of revel revelation or realization or something like that. Accepting, accepting something. The Three of Swords reverse is leaving the past behind. Two of Wands, same thing, leaving the past behind. Leaving behind something that is not bringing happiness. Uprooting. There is uprooting here. I don't fit in. This isn't where I need to be or I want to be. There's no success. There's no victory. There's no... Uh, Six of Wands. It's losing. It's a it's a loss. It's losing. And it's been a loss of money. It's cost money. You know, it's it's just it's it's a loss. Nine of Pentacles reverse. It's a huge loss. It's a huge, huge loss. Two of two of wands is making a decision to focus on the future. Some place where the grass is greener, right? The grass is greener over there. It's realizing that's the truth. Realizing that it's better over there. It's better. The grass is green. There's no, there's no growth over here. And we saw that with the Ace of Wands reversed. Judgment. The end of things. Life-changing decision. About a commitment or a foundation with that Four of Wands reversed. About happiness. Release. Judgment is a card of release. It is. Accepting the fate. Accepting it. Accepting what is. Being held accountable. Ready to be judged. I'm ready. I'm ready to be judged. This is I'm ready. I'm ready to be held accountable. You know, I'm ready. I'm ready to own up to the truth. I'm ready to accept the truth. I believe, you know, there's forgiveness here. There is forgiveness because the three of swords reversed is forgiveness. So isn't judgment. So there's forgiveness here. There's forgiveness. So somebody may be coming back around that asks for forgiveness. Maybe they realize, you know, that they deceived themselves or they lied to themselves. There's some sort of realization here. There is. Realizing the truth. But there's been so much self-deception. Okay? So it could be you. There's going to be people that write underneath, Oh, it's the karmic. Okay? He's going to realize that that's the karmic. Oh, honey. You need, you're in self-deception mode. Okay, that's you in self-deception mode. That's you deceiving yourself. Anybody that chooses to be with somebody else, that's who they choose to be with. You need to come out of denial and wake up. If somebody wants to be with you, they will be with you. You gotta come out of fantasy land, okay? You gotta come out of that self deception. Okay? If somebody wants to be with you, they will be with you. 
You got to come out of the fantasy and that you you need to wait forever for somebody that doesn't want to be with you. They don't want to be with you. Step into that new territory. Do not wait for that person. This is the judgment is about listening to advice, right? Oh, no, no, that's a reconciliation with me because he's going to let go of the karmic. Wake up, please. This is a realization of the truth. That's what this is about. Devil on the bottom. Devil is about illusion. It is. What does the devil bring into your life? Illusion. Karmic, right? Bonds, unhealthy bonds, toxic bonds, things that bring instant gratification, but they don't last. It looks really good and it feels really good for a minute, but then things spiral. It's toxic. It's unhealthy. Whew. So this is bound. It's bound. Somebody is bound to an unhealthy situation. They're chained to it. Okay? That's what you don't see. We got somebody here that is bound to an unhealthy situation. It's codependent. It's an obsession. There's a chain right there. This is the sword that severs those ties, that cuts those chains, that breaks somebody free from their own illusion, their own deception, their own codependency, their own obsession and infatuation. Greed, lust, materialism, codependency, drugs, addictions. We have somebody here that is making a decision. They are. They're gonna be finding a new approach. It's like they wake up. It's like they wake up and they realize that they have to do something. One more card. This does have to do with a commitment or a foundation and it has to do with the truth. Okay? This is some sort of truth. Epiphany, realization, awakening, spiritual awakening, a wake up call. The Empress reversed. The Empress reversed is a loss, right? It is definitely a loss. There's some sort of pain here because the Empress in reverse is in pain. We also may have a woman here who isn't nurturing things. She's not taking care of things. She doesn't, she doesn't take care of her children or she doesn't take care of herself. She doesn't take care of the home. She's very needy. She's very... Um, mean-spirited, self-absorbed. She doesn't give. She doesn't give unconditional love. She's not an empress, okay? This is, this is somebody who's not an empress. She doesn't give unconditionally, okay? She doesn't do everything with love, okay? An empress in reverse does not do things with love. She's not very loving, okay? She's not, she doesn't give. Not very feminine either. Oh my goodness.
goodness, I put it right next to the Nine of Pentacles reverse. Remember at the beginning I said the Nine of Pentacles is like the Empress and the Minor. They're right together. They're both reversed. We have insecure, unstable, lack of value. We have somebody here that doesn't know their value, that isn't being taken care of. Maybe they weren't even taken care of as a child. They don't even know what love is. There's no love in these cards. None. Not even any. None. Somebody is in a loveless situation. Oh my goodness gracious, that sucks. Doing something spontaneous, extremely spontaneous. There's no love here. That sucks. And there's a lack of self-value and there's a lack of self-worth. Somebody is cheating themselves. <coughs> They're cheating themselves of success. They're with somebody that's draining them financially as well. It's almost like stealing their money, stealing their abundance. Son of a gun. Realizing the truth, realizing the truth about somebody. That's not love. Loss. We may have a termination here. There's no victory. There's no success. We have somebody here that's not putting in any effort at all. They're not. Damn. That's not love. So I feel like this day is about waking up, going through some sort of awakening. I mean, we do have a female here that is very needy. She's very needy. She's not self-sufficient. She can't take care of herself. Or she just does it. She's using somebody or she has used somebody or something like that. She probably, If she's forced to take care of herself, she can. But right now she's very, it feels like she throws little fits, you know. She throws little hissy fits, you know, she's aggressive. Anyhow. Very unstable. Very unstable. Unstable. There's somebody here that is, is mentally unstable or they just don't love. They don't even know what love is. Maybe they weren't loved when they were a child or something like that. I don't know. Um, there's some self-deception here. This is a loss. It is a loss. Six of Wands reversed. That is a loss. A sudden departure. There's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of suffering. Judgment day. The end of things. Life-changing decision. So that's the it. There's a life-changing decision that is being made. This is the end of a trial. It is the end of a commitment. It is. I mean, I can't. That is the end of some sort of commitment. So, good luck.